Concrete 5 keeps track of all the files that you add to the front end of your website using the file manager. Now this doesn't let you upload files to the back end for replacing themes or um, changing around functionality. Uh, this is how we deal with stuff that you're going to use in content or image galleries. It's all of the pictures, documents, uh, any file that you're going to link to, all the stuff that your editors need. Uh, this isn't an interface for developers. You get to the file manager uh, through the front end whenever you need it, but you can also jump to the dashboard and then click file manager here on the left and you'll see here's all the files that I've added to the website to use in editing pages. So I'm going to just show you some of the searching uh, capabilities and give you a sense as to how files are organized in here. Uh, the first thing you need to understand is we don't put files in a strict folder hierarchy like your Windows or Mac computer might. Uh, instead, we kind of follow what Gmail does and we let files exist in more than one set. Uh, you can think of a set as a label or a tag. Um, files can be in no sets or many sets. So what I'm going to actually do, just to explain that, is pick a few of these guys and just pick these images here. Uh, and you can see them from a thumb kind of view. They all have earthy red tones in them. So I've selected these checkboxes, which gives me a multi-select. I go up here to this drop down, and this lets me do stuff with the files I just checked. So I'm going to hit sets. And we haven't made any sets yet, but I'm going to make one and call it reddish picks. Okay, so now we've got a new set. These three pictures are in it. And just so it's simple, let's make one for these two greenish picks. And then let's not select that one, but let's select these four guys. And we will call all four of those header images. Okay, so now I've got these sets on the side, and if I check these little checkboxes, you can see it'll automatically update the search results to just show me pictures within that set. So here's everything we defined as a header image. Let's uncheck that. Here's just reddish pics. Here's just greenish pics. Now where this gets really interesting is if I start to do multiple selects. So here are everything that is a header image and a reddish pick. So we could start to find all of the images on our site, put them in a reddish category, uh, and then find just things that match both of these sets. You see there's nothing that is both a greenish pick and a reddish pick, so we get no results. Uh, so you can start to see how powerful that can be. Um, we have a document library add-on that takes advantage of sets. Uh, a lot of our add-ons take advantage of sets. Uh, and you can start to do things like really organize your assets um, based on metadata. So uh, maybe you upload a bunch of PDFs and you put them all in uh, human resources forms. Uh, but then you also create a set for uh, 2010 human resource stuff. Uh, and now you can pull back things that are just for human resources and from this year. Um, you only really start to use these sets to organize things in ways that you just can't do with folders. Um, this little interface right here lets you do a substring search on the sets. So if you start to get a lot of sets on a really large site, this makes it a little bit easier to, um, to manage that. And I want to show you a little bit about other ways you can search the file manager too. Um, we've got this basic search field, which is pretty obvious and simple. Um, it's going to search various fields that it finds. In this case, it's, it's returning back in or from the title of the images. Uh, but there's this little plus, and this shows up in different search interfaces uh, throughout Concrete 5. If you click this little plus, you can add more search criteria to your query. So I added a row, and let's see what my options are. Uh, you've got the size of the file, the type and extension, when it was added. Uh, you can even pick a specific page it was added to. Um, you've got all sorts of options here and in fact if you start to add custom attributes which uh, we'll do another screencast on you can limit search results by them as well but let's just show you how this works with size so say size and you can see over here in the size column uh, we've got one big one and everything else is under 100 so let's just say look anything from 20 
to 90 kilobytes. And we'll search. And yeah, we got rid of a couple. Um, now let's show me stuff that's only in greenish and matches those criteria. Uh, if you want to have more than one limiter, you just hit plus again, and you can keep adding these. Uh, you can add as many of these as you want. Uh, once you get a search that really makes sense for what you're looking for, uh, another great feature is you can hit save search and give this query a name. Small green picks. Now that's going to show up in a saved search interface. And when you come back here next time, it's really easy to say, well, just show me stuff that matches this search criteria and it'll load everything up exactly the way you had it before. So that's it for this screencast. There's a whole bunch more on how the file manager works. Uh, but just in terms of finding stuff and organizing it, sets and the advanced search interface really gives you a lot of control. Mm -hmm.